Hello, Mr. Waffy here. Today we're looking at Arduino Lab number 5B, Analog Inputs. Last day we looked at clicking on the button, Digital Input, and the lights would flash. Today we're going to look at using this potentiometer, an analog input, to make different lights light up. So let's take a look at what we'll be able to do by the end. So as I turn the analog input, or the potentiometer, one light turns on at a time, and then all the way at the end they all turn off. Awesome. Let's turn that off and let's get started on our code. Uh, this is the same circuit we use in past labs, but if you're new to new, I'll be posting the schematic down in the comment section or in the description. Check it out. Uh, just really quick brief overview. We have five LEDs plugged in D2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we have a potentiometer that's plugged into A0. Awesome. So we're going to be coding with Blockly Arduino. I always like to start off with this setup loop forever because it mirrors the text code. Cool. So the first thing we want to do, we want to use an if statement, right? So anytime we have some sort of input, you're going to be using that if statement. And we're going to be need to use some sort of comparison. So if I go back here, I want one light to turn on when uh, the, the analog input is less than 200. <clears throat> I want the next one to turn on when it's 200 to 400, next one to turn on when it's 400 to 600, 6 to 8, 8 to 1,000, and then above 1,000, I want it to be off. I'll post that also in the description. So first things first, we have our comparison block. And we want to have the input on one side and the number on the other. So let's go to N under the Arduino menu. And we're dealing with analog input, so that's what we want right, right here. We want to read what the analog input is. And we'll say which pin it's plugged into, A0. Under math, that's where you find the number block. And right here we have drop down for all the different inequalities. If you don't remember from, uh, you know, grade 3 math, then I'll, I'll post a link down below as well to a good website. Uh, this right here is less than, right? So smaller side here, bigger side there. Smaller means this is less than that. If I did this, this means this side is greater than the other side. Awesome. So I want to read this value. So if this is true, what do I want to happen? Well, I want to turn on, so that's an output, one of the LEDs. And let's make two the first one that I'll turn on. So I'll go to output right here, put digital pin 2 to logic state high. So let's test this code out. It's always good to test out little by little as you go. Good way just to do a little mini prototype. So right here I turn this knob and as I go here it's on. We notice that it doesn't turn off. So I'll need to add a line of code to tell it to turn off. Easiest way to do that. If I click on the gear, I could add an I could add an else right there, and click on the gear, and we notice that it pops up right here. Click on that gear again, so I copy and paste that line of code, and change that to low. Well, let's test this out. Copy it over here. I'm going to hit Control A to select all. Control V to paste. And let's try it out. So I turn all the way down there. If it's on, I go over here. And it's off. Sweet, it's working. So let's do that for the next couple of other LEDs. And you know what? We kind of have this set up here. I can just copy and paste it. Now, before I do that, there's one thing that I want to change is that I want to add a variable. So right now I have this is my input. It's always nice to make that into a variable. And then it makes reading the code a little bit more understandable. So Look at that, I already have some created. So I'm going to create one. And I could call it, um, let's see here, analog value. Or make a variable that makes sense to you. For me, this makes sense. And what I could do, I could take that input, pop it right there. So now what I'm doing, and if you take a look at the text code, I'm, I'm to have that analog value as my. It's my variable, and I'm, I'm assigning 
make that equal to whatever the analog read at a zero is. Okay. So anytime you come to this line of code, it's going to set analog value to whatever the sensor is reading. So now I can go back to variables, grab my tab right here, it says analog value, and pop that in there. So it makes it a little bit cleaner. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the if, copy and paste. And I want to change this to three because I'm working with the next LED. I have to change something here. So I want to go from 200 to 400. And you'll notice I can't just do that with one block. So we have to go back to logic. And under logic, we have this and. So we want two things that are be, that'll, that'll be going on. So we want one comparison there. And I'll copy and paste. We want another comparison right there. Okay, so we want our, let's read through it. So if analog value is, well, we want it to be greater than, and I'll make it greater than and equal. Because up here, less than 200 doesn't include 200. So I want to include 200 somewhere. I'll include it right here. And analog value less than, you got it, 400. Okay, so this now, analog value can be, is greater than 200, less than 400. And let's just test this out to make sure it works. Copy that, go over here, click on there, Control A, select all, Control V to paste, select that simulation. So all the way at the end, we have that one LED is on. I go to the next range. The first LED turns off, second one turns on. I go beyond that, it turns off, so that's beautiful, that's what I want. And this is where things get a little easier, you know, like you wanna, you wanna work smart, right? So copy and paste when you can. Whoa. So I copied that and now I can change this to four and I want that to be greater than 400. You got it. So I'm kind of taking that number, putting it down here and I'm adding the next number right here. So it's adding 200 to it. And I can just do that for two more times for five and six, putting 600 right there and I'm putting 800, right? So greater than 600, less than 800. This is gonna be greater than or equal to 800, less than 1,000. Okay, so let's test this out. Copy that code. Control A, Control V, paste it in. And I go all the way down. So we have zero to 200, 200 to 400, four to 600. 600, 800, and then uh, 800 to 1,000. And you know what? When I go beyond the 2,000, well, go beyond the 1,000, because remember, analog inputs range from 0 to 1,023. So when I'm above that uh, 1,000, it actually turns off. And why is that? Well, that's because I'm saying I only want it to be on during this range. If it's not, if this statement or this conditional right here is false, it jumps down to the else and does that. So that's about it for the code. Um, if you want to take this project further, what I suggest doing, if you go back to my videos lab number two and three, that's where I made different sequences and different functions uh, where the lights would blink off left to right, right to left, outside, inside, inside, outside. And you could pop those into each of these different ranges, right? And so it's almost like a Christmas light display or something like that, you know, you, and you turn it a certain way, uh, the lights start blinking in a certain uh, certain way. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, give some feedback, and uh, if there's certain videos or certain areas you want me to cover, let me know. Take care.